Richmond. The greater metro Richmond area always growing and growth right now means adapted and updated public transit. That's why the GRTC team is working on a 10 year plan to help determine the system's future. Live at five, Jennifer Blake joining us with more on the plan. So Jen, what can we expect in the next five years? Well, hey, Simone, so this 10 year plan is called the Transit Strategic Plan, make sure I don't get that tongue twisted, or also a little bit easier, TSP. Now it's taking your input to learn where transportation is needed the most. And the spokesperson for GRTC is ecstatic about what's to come. It's really exciting. I love public transportation. Public transportation in Richmond is made possible by the GRTC public transit system. And now, as COVID is not declared a public health emergency, Henry Benden, the spokesperson for GRTC, tells me the state leaders are urging them to move forward with a plan to improve the transit system for the next decade. This is truly an opportunity from the state. You know, they've given us this grant that pays for it. Uh, they've asked us to do it, but it's also great for us to have this chance to figure out who it is that we can serve and how we can serve them better. Serving the public better means listening to the public's feedback. There's a survey open until July 14th on the GRTC website where you can share your thoughts on what needs to be done. Right now we're in the process of redesigning these pole stations to extend them. GRTC is also hiring more drivers. At least 50 are needed to get back to pre-pandemic status. You can't run a bus if there's nobody to drive the bus, and that's why we're committed to making sure that we are the best place to come work if you are a bus operator. Benden tells me GRTC will pay for you to get your commercial driver's license if you don't already have one. And he says if you haven't been on the transit... If you see a bus, hop on. And a reminder, you have one more week to share your thoughts, and a version of the TSP is expected to be out and ready sometime next spring. Live at 5 in Richmond, Jennifer Blake, NBC 12 News.